Hello world! Today's video will be about how I configured my AN Pro 2 Wait, I should have had this prepared My AN Pro 2 to preserve my most used Mac features So first, let me identify my most used Mac feature With the keyboard, it's brightness, mission control, music controls, and volume But because I'm using an external keyboard now I also need to have a mouse. I won't be able to, to use my Mac keyboard anymore because it'll be too far away. Also don't wanna spend a fortune on a magic trackpad or a magic mouse. So I had to find a way to simulate everything. My most used trackpad features are swipe up for mission control, three finger swipe left, left and right to navigate my desktops, um, reveal my desktop, and dismissing notifications. I came up with a way to simulate the trackpad and the keyboard functionality that I deemed most important when I was using my Mac. But hold on, I already have caps lock mapped to control because I use it often and it's more accessible that way for me. I have swapped the default command and option. So usually it is, uh, this is option and this is command but I've swapped it so that this is command because I'm used to it being right next to the space bar. So for special functions, Layla, those are covered as a one-stop shop with carabiner elements. This was already the default configuration for a carabiner, so I didn't have to do much here. The next part is mission control. Because of the earlier part with carabiner elements, it's covered as um, FN3, but I also have it as Control 3 because I find that more comfortable than pressing Function on the right side of the keyboard and then 3 on the other side. Wow, the sun is... Wow, I am... I feel special. I'm glowing. <laughs> okay, too much, a bit too much. And then for desktop navigation, like switching between screens, I have that as control comma and control period because the shift function is like greater than or less than kind of like arrow keys reminds me that I can switch back and forth from desktops. So for reveal desktop, I didn't really know what to make this. So I just did it as control D, D for desktop if I ever forget what the shortcut is. And then as for dismissing notifications, I haven't really found a good way to do this. I admit I haven't done much research, but for me what works is just putting on do not disturb have this mapped to f4 so then in carabiner elements i also have f4 as normal because i never use that application view anyways so i figured i would map it to that and then yeah but also a shortcut is if you hold option and you click that ham hamburger menu thing it'll put on do not disturb anyways so this will hide the notification and then when you turn it off it'll just all flood back so I guess this is kind of like a little bit of a review, but these are the things that I miss since having a 60% keyboard. I find that the tilde and the backwards apostrophe, I don't know what it's called, are harder to type. I know I can map this to something else, but I just haven't and it just is a little bit less convenient to type these things because um, they also share with escapes, so I need to compensate for that. Oh. Another thing, this is just a keyboard thing in general I haven't figured out. Like when I unplug my keyboard, it still thinks it's using either the carabiner elements or the Apple internal keyboard. And then when it does that, it just messes up my command and my option. Sorry about this lighting, weird lighting thing happening. Oh yeah, so another thing is to, uh, because I have no arrow keys, I use these as the arrow keys, but that means that they only work on tap functionality. So in order to like holding the arrow keys, I have to use FN and then WASD. I'm not used to that yet. I think I will get used to it, but um, it does, it is, it is kind of a drag. I find myself like tapping this like so much. Okay, and then another last thing is, I think maybe, I don't know if it's AN Pro 2 specific, but it is this magic FN, where is it? Or, or it's when I accidentally double tap FN. I think that turns on this like magic FN or the second function, whatever, and everything becomes like wacky. Like all the keys that I try to type, like they, they become weird and then like my left click becomes my right click. I don't know, maybe there's a way to turn that off. <laughs> Clearly I didn't do all of the things I could have done, 
But um, yeah, that's something that I find a bit annoying. But a few bonus tools that I love to use, I like Better Touch Tool for the Aero Snap, but honestly, Spectacle just works just as well. And I think that's it. I think that's all that I use that's special. Not really special, but you probably, you guys probably know this stuff. But other than that, I love this keyboard. I think it's really cute. I think it's very functional and small and I have the brown switches on them, I forgot to mention. Um, I find them nice. Here. It's pretty satisfying. I think the blue switches would be even more satisfying, but uh, brown are, are that sweet spot for me, so I think red would be too quiet. Yeah, that's all there is to it. I'll see you next time. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye. Here's a little overview of the very simplistic desk setup I have going on. Um, this is just temporary because I wanted to be by the window. I have my Anne Pro 2. I have my sadness. She keeps me remembering to be sad. <laughs> just kidding. She just hangs out there contemplating life. And I also have my Edna Mode reminding me to focus and drink caffeine. Thank you, Edna.